Good morning, Wildcats. Today we are going to take a look at this year's new yearbook design and a new club here at Harvard that is taking a creative approach to every aspect of technology and engineering. As well as an insight on the past week's basketball tournament that happened to be hosted at our school. Today is March 17, 2015. And you're watching Harbor Wildcat News. Every year brings new friends, opportunities, and memories. Yearbooks are created to capture moments that go beyond the front pages of tomorrow. This year, Harbor is taking a new approach to a school tradition. Here's the story. As the end of the year comes, students at Harbor strive to accomplish one of the best things they have, but many may not realize how much effort it takes. We start looking at trends and topics. Uh, that other people might be re uh, able to relate to in terms of typography, uh, design elements. The yearbook works as memories for many students here at Harbor as some leave to a new future in college. The reason why we did that is because we're doing it, um, we're saying everything adds up. Everything that we do at this school, it all adds up to our futures. And um, we have so many different type of people here, like every kind of person they all just, they all make the school what it is. Throughout the year, students with teachers work on themes and patterns as they begin to start the process of making the yearbook. By far, I think this one will be the best yearbook ever. The pictures are spectacular. It's a gorgeous book in general. It's so many colors, so many designs. It's just wonderful. We're going to win awards. We've already won some awards for it, too. Don't forget to purchase your yearbook in advance. They are sure to be a hit this year. For HBWN, I'm Gerardo Soto. This year's theme is plus. Don't forget, you can pick up your yearbooks this year for only $70. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but stay tuned because coming up next is a spotlight on a group that is setting a new precedent here at Harbor. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Currently, there are over 350 million people in the United States. Of those, one in nine people are going hungry. One in nine people in your community are going without food. Today, it's time to make a change. Since 1965, the poultry industry has increased sixfold, making poultry the number one most sustainable product in the United States. And it's easy to see how the poultry industry is so strong in America. With name brands like Tyson, Walmart, and Cargill, not only making their marks locally, but nationally. Food Secure 2050 is within grasp. Oh, there's our guy. Right this way, sir. Food Secure 2050. Feeding 320 million starts with one. Harbor High School is renowned for its athletics, fine arts, and academics. This year, one group of students are jumping at the opportunity to bring in something new that, it, that just might put Harbor in a brand new class. Ten years at Harbor is a milestone in itself, but this year, Harbor set a new one with the robotics team. The robotics team is a group of five guys, all sophomores, that they started over at Southwest and they started building a robot that they had started last year at Southwest and they wanted to continue doing that this year and they actually managed to bring it over here. Not many people can say they can build a robot, but this impressive team consistently makes it happen every year. The robotics club is a competition team where we go ahead and build a robot to certain specifications to go and complete a challenge. This year it was called Skyrise. Competition against other competitors has always been a tradition here at Harbor High. But for the robotics team, it's a new and exciting challenge every year. Uh, we went to state last week, and that was our competition, and we did pretty well. We got second place overall, and it was a really good learning experience. And because considering we're already going to nationals in Iowa in one month, uh, actually, it was a good time that we could just try new things and not really worry too much about the negative repercussions because we're already going to a bigger competition. The robotics team is a great way to meet new people and learn a new skill while having fun. For HBWN, I'm Gustavo Ariza. It's so interesting to see what students who are dedicated and have a passion for something can do when they put their minds to it. 
This will be a great way to educate students in the future while still engaging in an activity that they enjoy. In other news, a statewide event was held here at Harbor. Basketball teams from all around the state came to the city of Springdale to compete for the state title. I took a personal interest in the story, and here's what I found. With the school year coming to a rapid close, the 7A basketball tournament hosted here at Harbor is a sad but exciting way to end the 2014-2015 school year. At this point in the season, coaches are simply letting their players use this season's experience to win games against teams from across the state. We have to gear up for every team that we play. I mean, each team that we that we see, we're going to have film on, we're going to have scouting reports on, and, and we're going to try to teach our kids what, what their tendencies are, and, and, and then they're going to have to go play. At this time of the season, it's more about the kids performing than it is coaching. I mean, we're more like cheerleaders on the sideline than anything else. With such a variety of teams, the Harbor Gym is filled with a competitive atmosphere which produces excitement from the players and the fans. Every team out here is good. Every team can win the whole thing and that's just that's just what makes it even more fun. So when you when you come in the doors, it's just loud. It's like it's almost like playing the Springdale game, you know, just everybody's yelling and cheering. So it's kind of stressful on the head. You just got to get your head in the right place and you got to focus on what you want to do. Though some teams had to travel, Harbor is relatively close to most 7A schools, which gave many teams the opportunity to practice in their own home gyms after unexpected weather delays pushed back the tournament. We are uh, excited that it's at Harbor. It's close to home, uh, especially with the snow and the weather. We feel like we've got a little advantage being in our own beds and being able to practice in our own facility. So pretty excited about the tournament. It's our second year in a row to be in a state tournament, so feeling pretty good. Although they didn't take the state title, the Harbor Wildcat boys and girls set precedents and traditions that Harbor High will remember forever. And this week was made special for everyone. For HBWN, I'm Jade Nash. Just making it to the state tournament is an accomplishment in itself, and hosting the event is an honor. Congratulations to our Wildcat basketball boys and girls team. You had an amazing season and we couldn't have been more proud of your accomplishments. That's all we have for today, but don't forget to tune in next week where we'll get you caught up on not only news around Harbor, but also NWA. For HBWN, I'm Amber Carnish. And I'm Jade Nash. Put a smile on.